usual, everything is gone slightly iffy. Um, obviously, I'm alone this week. There's nobody here. Um, poor Jeff had an incident with his teeth, and now he's got to stay home all drugged up. I hear that he's loopy, but I'm not entirely sure that you can tell. It is Jeff. And it... Ah! People! I'm here. Hey, look, it's a Robin. How you doing? I'm good. I'm really, really excited to make Jeffrey's helmet for him. <laughs> See, this is what happens. If you miss out, we let Robin do stuff with your stuff. Craft-wise. So, let me... It's no different if Jeffrey were here because he's so loopy right now. <laughs> Jeffrey is a little loopy. Um, even more so right now. So, here's what we have going on. Let me give you a little... That, that's lovely. Let me give you a little bit of a recap of where we are what we're doing. So, we've been building these helms, and the last thing we were going to do was get a base coat of paint on, some plaster dip and some paint, um, and, and then have them all kind of prepped so that we could do some detail work today. Um, so... There was a problem. Uh, first off, when we when we glued these things up, uh, we glued up with some uh, barge cement, and then we were plaster dipping over that. Every other crafter in the world ever that works for. For some reason, uh, it started splitting apart at the seams when we hit it with the plaster dip here. Is that what these things are? That well, no, that was just kind of that. That's Jeff. Um, So, but we, no, we added some filler in when we were messing with the foam clay. Uh, but on top of that, some of the seams started separating out. And so obviously that was going to be a big problem. Maybe there was just some extra humidity here in Central Texas. Uh, maybe it was an older can of plastic. I have no idea. As I say, it works perfectly fine for everybody else in the world. So we decided to go a completely different direction. And I was just going to run a coat of epoxy over the, the helms as a base and then paint off of that. And generally that's fine. For something like this that's not going to flex much because it's a helm if it's on a flexible piece you wouldn't want to add epoxy to it because it would crack over time and have all sorts of problems on helms not so big a deal it does take a little while to do because you have to do one side at a time so you have to do one side let it cure for like a day then do the next side let it cure for a day and so it was going to take a little bit uh to get that uh, all put together then I saw a new technique that was so crazy cool. I said, stop everything. We're going with a whole new technique that's going to take an insane amount of time. Is that what these things are? That is exactly what that, show that camera what that looks like. So you can see from the, the, the start pieces here on, on Jeff's helm, as well as some of the the reptilian skin we've got going on on my helm, the dragon skin, that we've got this really neat texture um, that I absolutely had to, to try out. Uh, it it also takes an exorbitant amount of time that we had already taken an exorbitant amount of time. We did, like all weekend long I was making these things, they got that far on that helm and this far on this helm. Yeah, it, it looks, looks real like pretty. Shiny. I've been doing that ever since we turned the lights on in here, waiting for the cameras to roll. Shine a dragon skin. So I have another surprise. What? Yeah. So last time I was here, I drew a very pretty tree. Then that's it all looks, I did. It's gorgeous. Which is why I brought some backup this time. <laughs> that's all you need is backup. It's perfect. Come Who'd on. you bring? I brought Lauren and Amanda. Woohoo! All the peoples! <laughs> A pile of peoples! We are taking over now. We are decorating Jeffrey's house. That, that's true. That's, <laughs> this is what happens. You miss out. You, yeah, it's I'm here. I'm not missing out. Now. So it's here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to let you actually get started out. Now everything that's just the basic helm is going to end up with these this green texture stuff on it. Mm -hmm. So really... I mean, we need to focus some on like the horns and his fungus and and trim you know edges and stuff like that. This is the color palette 
that he was after. Not anymore. Nope. He's not here. We get to decide. Nope. Sorry, Lauren. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let you. So we've got some brushes. We've got some some paper towels. We've got some paints. Uh, we've got some clips to be able to hold things off the table if necessary. Um, I've got a couple of brushes. I have. Can you not not paint on my? Hand? I just want to see what it looks like. Come on. <laughs> This is what happens when you invite us, by the way. What if That's we made it look like like a tree and then put like vines on it and like little flowers? <laughs> it, it'd probably be okay. So it's it's for a, a troll that's uh, kind of yeah, kind of a dingy troll. So okay. that's you know Jeff. Jeff is a dingy troll. Yeah. I can't even see. <laughs> well, yeah, putting straps in to keep it at the right spot on your head is last. So obviously we haven't got to that point and and i don't know if you've noticed but i'm a slight bit taller than you and so you know only slightly you're not allowed to say i have a big head ever again has anyone ever right. said you have a big head yes so yeah have some pe fun painting that let me start talking about what it is that we actually did for this so this this texture is actually paint this is paint, we're painting in reverse. Normally, when you're painting, you're gonna be painting some of the stuff there, you start with your base coat, and then you'd layer on some additional layers of paint until um, you get to some of the highlights and things like that. For this technique, we're actually doing it backwards. So we start with a panel here, and this is a, a texture panel for polymer clay. So you would stretch out some of the polymer clay and press it on one of these pieces in order to get that shape in the clay. What we end up doing, and I'll show you, this is one of the, the pieces themselves, how it looks in the end. What we do is we actually paint that part of the, the just directly onto the mat itself with a couple of layers of acrylic paint. With things like the gold and with things like the green, I just did a couple of layers of that particular color. For things like the, the scales where I really wanted to get shiny, I did a couple of layers of the acrylic paint and then I backed it with just a layer of silver all the way across. And you can kind of see bits of silver through it and things like that. Um, and, and I was able to, to, to paint, so I've got these stripes going because I figure this, the dragon that it came from was a striped uh, light blue dragon. It kind of fits in with some of the elf things. So we're able to paint whatever we want. We just have to paint it in reverse, right? Um, after you've got several layers of paint, you use Mod Podge. And Mod, put, Mod Podge. Really and you does. put a couple of layers of thicker Mod Podge on it and let that dry. And once that's all dry, then you carefully peel the entire thing off and the paint comes off with the Mod Podge. And it's like one big layer of of skin sort of stuff. All right, so you found that some of these paints are a little older, I see. Yeah. Anyway, so it comes off as one big piece of skin stuff <laughs> that you then layer on where you want it. Um, you can cut it out. Obviously, the little piece that I had here has more to it than what I'm using it for. You can trim it with scissors, a, a knife, whatever you want to do, and then layer it where you want to layer it. In order to glue it down, you simply add a little more Mod Podge to the piece and attach it on there. When we're done with it, it'll get a clear coat over the whole thing to seal it and get it all looking nice and good. Now, obviously, uh, when I'm looking at the helm itself, we can see some of the seams and some of the bits. There are a couple of little holes and stuff because this is kind of fragile when we're putting it onto the piece itself. The, what we can do with some of that there's one right there and these seams. You can see that they're the seams, but I have some of the same color that I was just using there. And what we can do, get a little brush here, is I can kind of blend You're that not in. Not, <laughs> not at all. Is this like Jeffrey gets or nothing? Distracted. And once it's blended in a little bit, then some of that seam line goes away. 
It also means that if I've done stuff like these stripes and I layer another piece next to it and the stripes not quite exactly where I want it to be, I can go over some of the edge with some of the same colors and kind of rein it in a little bit. What I want to be careful of when I'm doing this uh, touch up work is I want to be real careful not to start filling in some of the detail that I just created with the piece itself. And so uh, I don't want to do a whole lot. I just want to do enough to fill in and get everything looking like it's supposed to look. scheme is great. Question, should the mushrooms be different colors? Yes. So the, the character uh, is kind of a loopy little troll, and so the, the fungus has been growing on his helm probably while it's on his head, and so some slightly different colors of fungus I think are absolutely perfect. Perfect. So my color palette that I have on this horn is I have light green with a darker green and some black and I'm not even mixing them together so they're gonna look kind of like oh, kind little, of a streaky sort of thing yeah kind of streaky different kind of shades of green within the same brush stroke I'm going for like a similar thing but more kind of earthy tones sort of like a like a baby diarrhea green <laughs> <laughs> and like a nice bright organic orange color <laughs> I'm using I made for the mushroom at least one of the shrooms uh -huh. but I cannot so we see have both end. kind of spectrums of like the green earthy why don't you get the in world. the middle of us and the thing you're working on is between us because you two kept elbowing me that's why I moved over I thought you were gonna work on the, this thing with me no I was gonna because you two are battling over who has a better horn I wasn't here let me hold it <laughs> Put it on your head. You I'm not putting that on my head, and you're not painting it on my head. Yeah, yeah. Let's not do that. <laughs> I don't trust there you to not be... paint my hair. Yeah, I don't trust any of you to not <laughs> paint hair. Maybe we should. Maybe we should wear shower caps while you're next to the paint. I won't own any. <laughs> we can fix that. That's the They're next. They're like a dollar ninety nine at Walmart. Next the like jerkiness of Robin like <laughs> painting on the helmet is, I think, adding a lot to my piece. <laughs> yeah. You're so good at this, guys. Meanwhile, in the middle of this, Jeff's gonna wake up from a, <laughs> from a stupor, turn on the, the internet. What's I'm going on on the show? Oh, my helm! You yeah. can repaint it? Yeah, things can be repainted. <laughs> things yeah, yeah, can yeah. be repainted. I mentioned that you ladies might be showing up here tonight and was told, oh, you're unleashing the crazy. Okay, I take offense to that. We are no way crazier than Jeffrey. Um, I think... But, but there's one of Jeff. <laughs> you see, there's a little bit of a difference there. We're more productive. His is going to be finished sooner. <laughs> I'm trying to make polka dots, and your uh, very um, strong stroking there is ruining my polka dots. These things gorgeous. One of the things that I'm wanting to make sure of while I'm here doing things is I want to get the all the edge around it painted to not just have straight foam. It's one of those little details that you may or may not even notice, but it kind of helps make it all together. And I'm using just the same color paint here to, to blend it in. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Some metallic green. Yeah, that's actually some of the green that I used on those panels. Um, oh. So it'll tie in. So it will tie in. Can I have some of it? Yes. Ah! Did you bring any of that Robin. Mod Podge? What? I, I did not bring any Mod Podge with me tonight. Okay. Someone's going to 
home to homework while I pick up the table. Okay. Was in the tiny car and bringing the table was a challenge in and of itself. Mm. Okay. All right. I will hold. Thank you. <laughs> Probably would have had room for the Mod Podge, but only if there was no driver. Mm. All right. So Fair. We don't have self-driving cars yet. Started here, but Mod Podge is notoriously good at driving. It oh, really is. I didn't. I if you didn't, didn't know, know that, that. I've, I've never tried. <laughs> I love paint on my arm. Robin. See, as I start going down the edge, there, it's one of those things. It just kind of ties in. So the rest of the, the, the scale pattern will move all the way up to the edge there. And I'm not really going to wrap the edge, but having the edge kind of tie in with the same colors will go a long way with the overall look. So, as I do this, I'm a, I've been painting straight out of the, the pot itself. I see that you guys are going with the pour a little paint out technique. Um, so we're mixing colors. We're having yeah. fun with it. It's very good for, like, making sure you get paint on every surface. <laughs> yeah. The, including the, Amanda's. I'm glad I have more paper towels. Do not put paint on my face, Robin. <laughs> more paper towels. This isn't an effective right. strategy. I'm going to turn this. Well, you may have the bigger paintbrush. I have more of them, and I will get you back. It's not about size. It's about how you <laughs> use it. <laughs> All right. Now, I think that the bottom edge here, I'm not going to paint. Do you I regret mean, this idea yet? I may, no. <laughs> you no. should. You probably should at this point. No, 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 no. Jeff might. <laughs> but, oh, he uh, most definitely does. He's... Turning this on, going, why? I think mine looks very good. <laughs> it does look good. It looks like a gross tree, which I think is what he was going for, right? I think so. Yeah. Well, I seem to I have never the... once talked to him about the look that he was going for for his helm, but I think so. The, the, what the text said when I said, what kind of paints am I bringing prior to his uh, emergency issues. I was told I'm gonna make the horns black <laughs> and get some oranges and yellows for the fungus. Well, I got the orange for the fungus. The uh, black horns there. I use black in my so color palette. On the 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 fungus that's the the kind of reef sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet that this would go real good in deeper in mm -hmm. with the orange just kind of towards the the tip kind of blended in yeah um i get control over the fungus oh i wasn't gonna say that i was gonna say it would look like something i mean it would but you know it'd be very yonic so the idea after the paint is that I jeff's gonna metallic. add a lot of other moss and stuff to it But at the very base of it, if you had like a green or a yellow or something, then that would offset the uh, possibility of the yonic. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. So, at what Lauren. point? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. At what point are we going to see Mary Sue helmets? Made. Once I finish the second Mary Sue belt. Are we going to have helmets? Do you want helmets? I think we should. Are you going to make us helmets? <laughs> no. Okay, no, I'm helmets. not. Then we're probably not going to have helmets. You know, it's good that we have a TV here. I Ooh, I'm winning, <laughs> like 100%. Yours is looking really good. Oh, that's where the black Okay, is. okay. The, the orange horn on the end. That is pretty cool. The, the swirly bits. <laughs> All my years of t-shirt painting in high school is paying off. T-shirt painting, uh, wine glass painting. Uh, you did other painting as well. Yeah, I did paint wine glasses a lot. Like pottery. I did a lot of pottery glasses. You were training for this one moment. 
Yeah. I think I still to have paint one. horns on a helm. I feel like I still have some of the t-shirts you made, but I might not. I do not have any of the t-shirts I made in high school. Do you have any of yours? I still have the food shirts on it. Food, food suits? Do you have the, uh, Dave, the, um, Darren Crest t-shirt? <laughs> I like that one. Um, I forgot about that one. Go first one. Hey, can you take a break from your lineys so I can have a little bit of black? Yes. Thank you. Then you can put a little bit of black in that. <laughs> Master crafter over here. Can we get a I'm gonna take a break on, on the horn. Oh. There are no breaks on this show. That's what we have other shows for. Oh, I like that a lot. The horn breaks. <laughs> some extra stuff it'll be just fine <laughs> what is my pink i want pink oh uh, I, I have lipstick it's red and orange right no there's no red. I have it's not really red it's just orange oh my hair got really big all of a sudden <laughs> i have lipstick i could go grab i have don't uh, put lipstick on his horn <laughs> I like yours. I like the kind of um Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. It looks very good. Jeffrey should be very happy with this. Yeah, Jeffrey should try it. If he doesn't like us. it, um he should give it to us because this looks great. Yeah. I have the the pattern we used for it is just a downloadable thing. So I have the pattern in the event that uh, you need, to make, you need to make your own. But I don't know if we could recreate this gloriousness that's happening right now. Yeah, lots of I'm sure you can create this. some gloriousness. <laughs> I think this is circumstantial. <laughs> kind of a little. Yeah. I can't even get them to help me on my mermaid costume. What makes you think well developed? I've helped you on your mermaid costume. So have I. I'm insulted by this. Very little. Mermaids okay, well, perfect for. timing. I need more help on it. All of my creative craftiness is being used for today. Ask me again tomorrow. We have used it all! <laughs> All is it up. this red? No, it's orange. orange. Okay. That's what I've been using. I've been adding black to it to make it a little bit like um, color theory. <laughs> yeah. Black and orange make red. But actually, no. Well, no. <laughs> no. Well, it depends. Are we doing additive or subtractive? <laughs> it's pigment, well, so it's using <laughs> colors. So. Oh, I think that's why it's red. I think that makes red appear. <gasps> you did a great job. You did a you should paint some, like, something cool on the inside of the horn, too. Well, the, so the inside is going to get uh, a little bit of filler spray foam. I think he wants to build, like, a little bird nest or something living. That would be cute. Yeah. What is this supposed to be? Is this, like, more fungus? This, like, little so like a worm? It's some sort of decorative bit um, that I suppose could be any color you wanted because... It was just a an extra piece at the base of the. I feel like it's supposed worm. to be like a caterpillar wormy thing. It very well could be. Caterpillar mm -hmm. wormy things need faces. I don't know what color to do it in. Well. We could pretend it's faces like hidden in the maybe a room. maybe a, a back and forth of, like the black yellow or something on the different yeah. bands. The yellow, yeah. You could do like a thing, like yellow. the red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow, red it's touches just black, black, you're okay. dead Jack. No, it's okay <laughs> Jack. Okay. Both options, they were dead, Amanda. No, one is no. good and one is yeah, bad. Yeah, no, but the way Lauren did them. Yeah, which is why I corrected her. She was, she was wrong. <laughs> she was wrong. See, what they don't tell you on the Mary Sue show is... We're master that, uh, crafters. <laughs> what they don't tell you is that when you lose, then they show up on your show. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky over. you, no matter what, we would have been here. It just means, would have been, you know, 
us and Jeffrey, or us and you. It's like the, we're yeah. like fates. My story was so much better. <laughs> I don't get a say in the judging. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you an idiot this time? I mean. Yeah. I just, like, am bad at judging. Oh. <laughs> well, that's okay. I mean, we are all stupid. So you have to keep that in mind with the judges. We are all stupid. I'm smart, no, which is why I'm not a judge. I believe we had an entire TED Talk about how the judges are stupid. Make it easy for them, please. We are dumb. You have to paint the underside of the mushrooms, too. Yeah, I was starting that, and then because y'all kept jerking this, I stopped. Okay, okay. I'll help you. I'm cleaning the brushes, but we don't have any water. No, we don't. But some it. of the paper towel, some of the paper <laughs> towel kind of watered up a little bit. Will work just as well. Just not a dry brush. We can do that. I'm gonna make them bright yellow. What is it? They more gray? Huh? The underside of the mushroom. Mm, they're kind of be like whiter sometimes. Are we gonna yeah. argue the realism of a mushroom on a troll helmet? <laughs> Yes, yes, we are. I Maybe because hers, Amanda's is polka dotted and orange. Ma mushrooms can be polka dotted. Mushrooms are polka dotted. Yeah, the like the Smurfs and I the red and white I'm ones. Going insane. Yeah, the red and white <laughs> mushrooms. The red and white mushrooms are real. Exactly. I'm not they're, even in the frame they're, remotely. <laughs> they're in. Uh, Fine, they're in the Nordic countries, and they are. Do I want to take my spot? Huh? Yeah. Here. The, the red and white ones are mushrooms that. Uh, let you see crazy things and uh they're they're quite strong and apparently the reindeer hunt them out because the reindeer like that and will sit there and eat them and then zone out for a while so the smurfs are living in hallucinogenic houses that reindeer like to get high on that sounds like an ideal life <laughs> well i like, suppose I wanna... until a reindeer eats your house that's just life, man. If that's the way I go, that's the way I when go. You're, when you're a Smurf, you got Gargamel, you got reindeer. It's a hard life all around. It's a hard knock life. <laughs> You've got one Smurf ad in the entire village. And somehow there was and a baby Smurf. she's got a Smurf. headache. Somehow there was a baby Smurf that wasn't connected with they Smurf. They like Transformers that. and <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> were you there with Paul? Yes. Robin was. Were like, you? I just know about it. And I don't remember. So Koala one day asked the posed the question our roommate of um, about if Craig Transformers and made me Google it. It's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Craig Transformers. So Transformers, How male or female, can carry they carry the baby like in front of them and. Some weird chest because thing and all it's Transformers weird. Transformers are men and there's another Transformer. No, they're not all men. There's another Transformer um, planet that's all women. Cyber, well, no, Cybertron. There were men and women on Cybertron. There were there were female uh, Transformers. They were then the other alien race. No, no, they were Transformers. They were the female Transformers, a very different race, but live on a different planet. This was a thing. Race from a different planet. This was a thing. <laughs> We looked it up. We also even found the comic that had the impreg as canon. That I have weird. to live with them. <laughs> Robin does live with us. It's a fun, fun uh, moment. And I want you to know, the Yu-Gi-Oh! episode was her fault because she started watching it. It was on my Netflix. You were watching it on my Netflix account. And so then I was like, huh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like <laughs> 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 it looks really good. I like it. Yeah. Really and so because I would like to remind you that you can repaint this if you want. Um, you are not allowed to repaint this. This is gorgeous. I'm, I'm willing to bet that Jeff may end up leaving a lot of it. <laughs> that one, right? That one's cool. That one's That's cool. cool. That one's this cool. This is cool. I don't really know what I'm doing with this, like, little worm thing, caterpillar. So? You should grade it. <laughs> it's, it's grading something. It's looking good. <laughs> I'm just trying to not hit myself. No, in the face. I see. I'm just trying to. I know I'm. We got all quiet here, and I'm just trying to focus on 
I just what realized that this one's not black, but like doing? that's a brown that is right here. You know, life is like that sometimes. Life is brown. Sometimes you, you think you life is black. The wrong sometimes you grab, grab the wrong paintbrush. You just gotta go with it. <laughs> Continue painting. That's ha what. Happy little accidents. <laughs> yeah. This this helmet is all Bob Ross. <laughs> There's nothing but happy little accidents on this helmet. It's kind of what I think about making in the first place. I'm into it. Happy little accidents. Yeah. The the pattern is uh, was longer. You know, we trimmed it down for for Jeff and for the look he was going for, but it works for a big for a good magneto helmet too. Oh. Mm. That's what I did my Love my magneto, magneto helmet. helmet. I, I really got to give it to Michael Fassbender because he just sold that Magneto helmet. Like, it looks uh, silly, but he sold it. It, it does. It's, it's a completely it's a, ridiculous it's a, hat, but it's okay. Yeah, it's a silly thing to wear, and he's just like, yeah, I'm wearing it. I'm going for it. Yeah. yeah this, it's is, like, this is what I'm this doing. This is how today. it's going to work. I'm going to throw it on my head. <laughs> oh, Your hair was like a real cool. No, I'll we, take a shower. Tonight. Are we finger painting? Is that what's happening, Robin? <laughs> I yeah. can. Like, that's not a problem. So, while you guys keep going with that, I've kind of paused on where I'm going with mine. I need some more panels and stuff on before I really get uh, more work going. Um, but I'm going to go a slightly different direction here. And uh, so we've, we've missed a couple of episodes. We had things planned out to to really go the extra mile with some of these uh, creations. And um, I, I wanna take the extra time here and kinda show you guys uh, and talk a little bit about the next extra special piece that I wanna add to this helm. And I, love, I would love to have right up here a big glowing gem of some sort. Um, because it's elves and elves like gems, and why not make it glow? Because glowing is like a cool gems. thing. Do you like sparkly things? <laughs> right, everybody does. So, um, I've been playing some. With, in order to do that, obviously we need some sort of electronics in it to, to light it up. Um, and, and so there are different ways of doing that. And one of my favorites um, is actually playing with some microcontrollers so that you can program it to do, you can do lights or you can do some different light patterns or a variety of different things. Um, but it involves programming, and that takes a little bit of effort in trying to learn what you're doing with the code and all that sort of thing. Uh, the neat thing is that... I went to Excite Camp in, all, in middle school, and I know not how to code, but somewhat. Izzy knows how to code. Izzy it, knows how to code. Too bad she didn't come. It's all right, because, because starting with... Um, actually starting with an experiment done by the BBC in England, they decided they really wanted to help kids learn to code. And so they developed a particular controller with lots of stuff on it and a really easy way to get that code on the thing so that kids could learn. And now in England, uh, when you get to the seventh year of schooling, everybody in the country gets a kit with one of these controllers on it um, because of the BBC. Uh, here in the US, there is a version that Adafruit put out and I'm gonna show this to the camera. This is called a circuit playground. And so on this, we've got a couple of different things. So we've got the actual little processor and some little connectors here. Around it, we've got some LEDs. We also have like an accelerometer, which lets it know when it moves. We've got uh, some buttons on there. Uh, there's a temperature sensor, a light sensor, um, a variety of different things uh, on this already built in. Uh, this thing runs about, I think this entire kit with the stuff was like 35 maybe. Oh, so okay. really cheap and all the little leads around the outside, it, if you wanna add things to it, if you wanna do some, some additional lights or some motors or all sorts of stuff, you connect it up to these little leads and then program it. The programming you would do online. So this is from Adafruit, so you can go to adafruit.com and there's a spot for the circuit playground. I was trying to bring up on a system, the Wi-Fi here isn't working so great, so I'm not able to, to show that. But the way that they do the programming itself is drag and drop. So in other words, if you want to turn all the lights blue, you would drag over a little spot that said, turn all the lights blue, upload it to your board. You don't have to type a thing. Okay. And it knows what to do. 
So this particular one we were playing with before. I'm going to plug it up and give it some juice. You made a mess. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's expected. Lauren got paint on herself. So this particular one, um, we were playing with some different, different stuff here. If we get it to light up. So it starts off with some different lights, but we played with the accelerometer. Ooh. Aha! Aha. I like it. And some sounds. Mm. So, so if you were to throw down your and so <laughs> And so it knows when I'm moving it, and it's we told it when I'm moving it, change color, which is just drag and drop, moving it, change so color. is there a certain speed? So like if you're walking, does it register that it's moving forward? So yes and no. Or is there a certain speed that it taps so, off? So you get to change mm -hmm. via the drop down how fast it has to move in a particular direction. So just tilting up or down is one thing. Uh, moving a particular direction with a particular amount of speed. Obviously it does some different, yes, you're able, don't paint it. <laughs> so. He broke it. <laughs> and, and so it's got some little built-in sound effects all into the board itself. Obviously we were playing around with that. And this, we actually turned it down. So we were we were after hours at work when we were playing with this, and we made it kind of loud. We were trying to see just how fast you're moving, so we were running up and down the hallway, uh, playing with the. So and, and the when we we're clipping it on, we could just add other things, and still with the drop down, say use the other the clip on into whichever one, and start this mode or that sort of thing. So when we take it with something like this. We can put it right around here with a little translucent cover that would look like Ooh. a gem. And when I do stuff like move my head, it will move around. I'll probably actually make it quiet for, for wear on here. Yeah. Um, but I could turn it on. I could just tell it to stay on the whole time. Mm -hmm. So like at night in the battery pack, I just take the cable and put a little hole in here and put the battery pack inside. Mm -hmm. And it's completely wearable and moves with me. Would it have like a strap or would it just be like have it bouncing on your head all day? <laughs> well, I would, I would actually uh, hot glue it up to the inside of the helm. So one of the nice things about having a helm this tall is that there's lots of space over my head to put stuff. Yeah. Um, but if you're doing other sorts of costuming, the, the, you know, this was designed for children. Let's not lose the whole table. Lauren. Lauren. I didn't do anything. So this was designed for children. Um, but a lot of, because it's so easy, a lot of <laughs> cosplayers are using this. Let's, uh, don't put that side down now. Let's, uh, let's pick up the helm that's wet. It's perfect. This is what happens. Right, go ahead and, and tip that leg so that it'll we'll go ahead and now we have a low table. <laughs> Do we have anything open there? No, that all the paints are we closed. Should, uh, all the should have been closed. They are we not? Should, uh, oh. le, yeah, it looks like we're good on, on nothing little spilling little. out, and so that's good. But it's easy Can to you get me a little bit of a napkin? The crazy that happens on combat. This is... <laughs> That's it. So, so while that's going on, you know what's perfect. This is perfect to paint. This is better. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now it's at Robin height. <laughs> it's at Robin height. I was having difficulties. <laughs> I was, I was having difficulties. Was so the neat thing with this, not only was it designed for children because it's so easy, um, a lot of cosplayers are using it for a variety of things. So I want to use it for a gem in the front of my helmet, but at the same time. You could do something like build it into a larger costume if you wanted, say, lights through a costume, or you wanted uh, motors flapping wings or a tail or, or you know, halo uh, lights and stuff all over it. Uh, lightsaber sounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can, yeah, you can tell it to play certain sounds. And because it's got the accelerometer, when the accelerometer does certain motions, it's all good. It's all Lauren good. Can't touching the table ever again. I didn't do anything. 
didn't do that. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. We're good. So, so sounds. <laughs> so, for future episodes of combat, we are locking the door. <laughs> that's probably a good idea. That's Not all there is that. to it. Locking the door. Yes, yeah, so you could do stuff like Star Wars sounds, uh, stormtrooper helmets, okay. or you want to be able to communicate. You could put a little microphone attached to it and then a speaker and be able to alter your voice to do certain things uh, or to be able to have uh, additional stuff like that. It, it, controller. See, we had a show and now it's gone somewhere else. We told you we were taking over. We're that, serious. We are serious. We're taking this seriously. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna go, just gonna go away. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so that's what, and the, the neat thing is that if you if you get more into programming it a little bit, once you've got all the code um, and you upload it to it, it's co it's coded in a, a tool called JavaScript. Okay. Um, which apparently is pretty easy. I've never, never played with it before. I have to do it for work. This is, mm, okay. There you go. You could, could you could program one of these without the the special editor. Um, but once you know some of the jobs, so you when you can translate it over, so you can see all your drop down stuff. Once you've got your program there, you can tell it to switch over. Show me the what it looks like in the code, and it'll show you what the code looks like. So you can actually learn to do what you want to do and more additional things to that. Mm -hmm. um, so I, while I say I'm gonna put it here, if I build more to the elf outfit, then I could do similar ones using the similar code to m have other things match up um, over time. Are there gonna be any of those on Jeffries? We could so, have fireflies. Um, <laughs> like you put the little wires up and they're like, like little, little LEDs. But th there's the, Maybe we should do that. So even though I've got all of the lights up now. here, you know, you could turn on just one light at a time, or you could just have some this inside the helmet and just have some wires out to particular yeah. lights. So even though mine's going to be on the outside of the helmet, the whole thing could actually be inside the helmet and, and just, just wire like through. Up light, make some holes for like the one little LED, and they can turn on randomly. Jeff's going to have to get his own circuit playground. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that sound. Mm, Charge. Charge! <laughs> um, now it's not gonna stop. We're done. Good. Uh, yeah, so you could do that sort of thing there. As I mentioned with Jeff's, we're looking at adding some some birds and stuff to it, or, or something to that effect. So you I think can we're have also it potentially chirping noises. It could be <laughs> chirping noises. Part of my house makes chirping noises. I've got, I've got some, a microcontroller at my house, actually, that, that cycles through birds chirping and fairies giggling and stuff. Do you need an audio of us for the fairies? I've, I've, got, I've got audio. If, it's it, a, if he's going to have a nest in there, it should just be a bird going, ah! <laughs> Tiny moves too much. <laughs> Which is a possibility. Which I, is a I possibility. like that one. Right. So we just have to get the right sound files and Jeff to get his own circuit playground. And then even later on, even later on, if I wanted to use this for something else, I simply remove it from the costume and I reprogram it to whatever else that I want to, to do. Um, so I really wanted to, to take a, a show and show you more of the programming side. Obviously, that's not going to be possible due to our Wi-Fi. Oh, Wi-Fi. Not our fault. No. no. Not See, the Wi-Fi was working not until a table crashed down on it and then... <laughs> And then we are innocent. there's no right. I'm pretty sure that leg over there was the one that fell first. Uh, yeah, it actually was. It that was. leg fell. This leg was still standing. Uh, not on me. It's a neat thing. Um, we don't often talk about some behind the scenes sort of stuff on this show, but this table, in order to get it at the right height, sits on four stilts, uh, stilts that, that are, are just down. held down by clamps. And occasionally, if people push the <laughs> table over it falls <laughs> the magic of television so crafting we slayed the table 
we started to craft helmets that instead took out that dangerous table. <laughs> it was really dangerous. It was. It, it, it was. It was too dangerous to stand, and now it kneels. <laughs> now it's at Robin height. I it's... love it. <laughs> so, going forward on our helms, the, the next steps, once all of this dries, the, the tech texture paints are going to continue to get done all around it next week we won't be here it'll be brad's red web for a full hour um and we're going to take that time to get all of the the extra painting and stuff done on these helms so when we do come back um what we're going to do is some finishing up jeff's got a bunch of pieces of moss and lichen and stuff to add to his um we definitely i've got some pieces to add to the front of this that i haven't gotten to yet and we need to get strapping in there so that it sits properly on the head <laughs> instead of falling all over like uh, when Robin's looking out the, the wrong portion of the helm. <laughs> but we're just about I done with these. Out of it. Really, <laughs> um, it's just this this technique is really really cool. I couldn't pass it up. Takes about you know seven hours a per hours. piece to to get it on there, but. Uh, it will get done, and you will see it, and, and it'll be uh, it'll be done as we finish up the season of combat. So next season, when we get around to that, starting in September, um, will be our fifth season on air. Well, Ooh. it'll be our fifth season taped. <laughs> there was a lost season that some people count and some don't, and I was there for the taping of it, so I'm counting it. So our fifth yeah. season is coming up. And uh, we've decided that this wasn't cool enough. We're gonna make we, championship belts. We are going no. to. We are not going to make championship Sorry, belts. No. But and I'm not gonna give a whole bunch away. But it will be absolutely totally epic. We're going to be building some things that in the cosplay world people have attempted, but no one has fully succeeded mm. like we will be doing. Moving wings. Anywhere in the world. No, moving wings have been done. A little bit of a couple of motors, what something about like this. Those anime Little characters movies. who they use the retrospective at behind, so like the fabric actually moving. Not gonna like it. I'm, I'm <laughs> seen, I haven't seen that, but that's not what we're doing either. A magic um, girl transformation. We, and we're even <laughs> adding time. to the cast. Uh, so there will be, we will be adding to the Three cast. Joe Jennings of Colony Drop Cosplay will be joining us. Um, we will be adding to the cast, but we will not be. Adding we are not coming back. to the cast at, at all. <laughs> period. I think we did a great job. It, it looks crazy. It, it looks it looks it looks nice all the way down there where the table now is. <laughs> no, it, it does it does look really nice. Uh, I'm sure Jeff will be very appreciative that some paint got on it uh, while he is not here to make that happen himself. He's got a lot of repayment. And, and, and I'll tell you, even though he probably mentally was had some certain things in mind. Now he's got Better. a completely different direction to think about and consider if he really wants to do what he wanted to do before or mm -hmm. if he should go with more of, of this sort of a look. He has to keep um, this. We will be very angry. We will come murder him if he does not keep this. I would cry. He yeah. would cry and I will have to murder him then because he made her cry. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not entirely worried about either of those options, <laughs> really. Um, but the... But, but but getting to the paint where we did is um, it is definitely looking real nice there. I like the idea of adding some special effects with uh, his own um, his own circuit playground in there. So we'll have to try and convince him to make that happen. But he'll have <laughs> to buy his own. Always, I bought mine. We I... can always come for a, a mild fee. <laughs> <laughs> he will come back on and complete his helmet for him. We pay per person per hour per helmet <laughs> per light. <laughs> Wait, you said I, we pay. I charge. Oh, we charge. I charge per charge. table leg. <laughs> Technically, only one fell. <laughs> damage is done to <laughs> the. <laughs> There's no actual damage. <laughs> Everything was fine in the I end. Mean, we so were fun. all good, and nothing was my fault. <laughs> That's. This. Everything was fine and nothing little, was my fault. Is the little, theme of little, today. Little bits of ridiculous. So, so tell me, as we're finishing up this, uh, what uh, what kinds of things do you have coming up with Mary Sue? We have the season finale. Season finale. Woo! Yeah. Next week, it's me versus Gavin. Gavin's going down, according to Robin. Accor that's just true. Oh, 
This is what, what was the what's the the genre again? Pacific Rim. I've uh, yes, there there have been plans for this. Oh yeah, that would oh, be yeah. for a while. Yeah. And we will be completely impartial. We have to be completely impartial. I'm sorry, Robin, you are my roommate, but I cannot Fine. pretend. What have what anything. happens when when Gavin shows up with the Swedish chef? <laughs> I'm telling you, the Swedish chef is the bomb. Camera? The you Swedish chef is the bomb. You can't yeah, lose with the Swedish chef. Well, you can. But <laughs> <laughs> I had no say in it. I'm just the host. They were very close. They were, really, they were really, really, really close. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so uh, Pacific Rim battle between you and Gavin. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and then coming up for, for the next season, what kinds of highlights do you have planned? Oh, boy. Laura and I want to make a show about the two of us. No. It just isn't us competing every time. <laughs> with puppets. With puppets. Or dolls. So. <laughs> like the Swedish <laughs> chef. Yes. 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 Let, let us know. do this. Link in the comments. <laughs> Tell Robin she should let us do it. Let us know if you want to see that. It would be hilarious. There's absolutely nothing wrong with letting these people on your show. <laughs> I should have let them on my own show. <laughs> I made her play Yu-Gi-Oh! If, if only you've had other friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anyone like that. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> that's your fault. What you need is a help. <laughs> and we happen to have a pattern. You see a little foam now. And, uh... Can I, have, can I use every slot that you can have your answer in? I'll just take this. <laughs> <laughs> see, you can't see out of it either! I just like this look, though. <laughs> I like it. It looks good on you. Okay, Jeffrey, you... You've lost your home. It is now Lauren's. Look. See, it, it, even even there, it fits real good on Jeff's head. But even if it doesn't fit, we're and gonna have an episode where we strap, <laughs> so add tight. a little bit of strapping to it. And um, the the one I did with uh, Magneto is um, also too big for my for my head. I I, like, I used it and made a short film. So like, um, oh, it was mm -hmm. it was absolutely terrible. I was super bored, yeah, and. It was this it was some like of the best footage I've ever done before. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna pause at this and start cleaning up this mess. What? Um, <laughs> next week, Brad's Road Web. After that, come back for some more combat. Definitely start telling your friends now about our next season. Uh, we'll start to to show you some crazy cool stuff that no one no one has been able to completely do before um many have tried we're gonna do it or fail in front of you either way either way it'll be absolutely absolutely amazing uh we're gonna go ahead and get cleaned up you guys stick around come back next week for some more kaiju media and uh continue crafting